Hey, what's up guys, Jed here. One thing I wish I knew before doing intermittent fasting. If you're curious to know what that is, then make sure you stick around. But before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you stay up to date whenever I post a new video. I know, I know what you might be thinking. I said one thing I wish I knew, but before I tell you what that is, I kind of just want to help you understand why it is that intermittent fasting is so effective. All right, I want you to pay attention, okay? Watch this. I'm just going to sort of make up what I eat in a day to kind of just give you an idea. So in the morning, I wake up, right? By the way, I'm not doing intermittent fasting, so keep that in mind. In the morning, I decide to eat, I don't know, cereal. Then for lunch, maybe a burger and fries, or maybe even a hot dog. And then for dinner, I want to have like some sort of homemade soup and then top that off with maybe some chocolate or ice cream. Of course, with a couple of snacks in between each meal. And that's my whole day right there. And the thing about that is that if I were to follow some sort of diet like that every single day, that sort of diet is almost always never going to be organized. It's always going to be all over the place. Okay, and by that I mean sometimes, let's just take breakfast for example. Sometimes I might eat at 8 a.m., sometimes I might eat at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., whatever. Same thing applies to lunch and dinner. Now since I'm not doing intermittent fasting, the problem with that is since I'm not consistent with my meals, that means I'm pretty much eating all over the place. You know, it's just out of the blue where I'm like, oh, you know, I'm kind of hungry. Let me eat something right now but little did you know maybe that was just a couple minutes ago or maybe that was just an hour ago or maybe it was hours ago right there's so many factors that you need to take into consideration as to why this is not a good thing if you had a meal hours ago then the meal that you choose to have right now might be a huge meal which can lead to you binge eating or if you had a huge meal a while ago then the meal that you would decide to have right now might be something that's too small and things like that so basically the point is everything is not consistent you know it's very it's a very odd eating pattern which is also why a majority of people eat at a surplus which means they gain weight now let's take this cereal burger french fry hot dog soup ice cream diet and sort of compress it a little bit right so now we're implementing intermittent fasting when you do that everything is more consistent which also means you are fully aware of when your day starts and when your day ends why is that a good thing because you're gonna stop eating that is, if you're doing intermittent fasting correctly. But here's the thing though, even though I tell you that, doesn't mean that it's always going to work for everyone. And the reason I say that is what my next point is going to be, which I wanted to talk about earlier, is learning how to count your calories. That is the one thing I wish I knew before I did intermittent fasting. Because now, since I know how to count my calories, I can still implement intermittent fasting here and there if I wanted to. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't do it every single day, but I still do it from time to time, only because I feel like it, not necessarily because I don't know how to count my calories. The purpose of intermittent fasting is to help train yourself to stop eating so much and so often. And when you learn how to do that, the easier it becomes to lose weight. But you could also take the easier routes of just learning how to count your calories. Because the difference between learning how to count your calories with intermittent fasting is with counting your calories, you get to eat the entire day. As long as you know how many calories you need to stay at the weight you're at right now and how many calories you need to lose weight. If you understand those two things, you don't have to do intermittent fasting at all. But if you don't want to count your calories, you could also do intermittent fasting. But some way or the other, you're still unconsciously tracking your calories. And by that, I mean you can tell by the portion sizes of your meals. If you see that your meal is looking like a plate with a mountain full of food, then you would know that's too much. Same thing the other way around. If you see that you only have a meal that looks like you have just a peanut of a meal on your plate, Plate, then of course you'd know that's too little. That is the same thing as counting calories. People just don't want to admit to that. So that is the one thing I wish I knew a long time ago before I did intermittent fasting. Because I used to think of intermittent fasting as something that's like, okay, I'm gonna do 16-8, that's it. That's all I heard. Once I do 16-8, which means I just have to eat in an eight hour eating window and then fast for 16 hours, that's it. The magic's going to happen. I don't need to do anything else, which obviously is not true. The reality was calories. And this is something that I wish a lot of people would talk about more often, which is the base of everything, intermittent fasting, keto, or you know whatever, 
over whatever other special diets there are out there is really just learning how to count your calories. But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. If you guys are interested in learning more about weight loss and intermittent fasting, then be sure to check out my last video where I talk about the best intermittent fasting app in 2021. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and tap that notification bell so that you never miss out on any future videos. Also, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below letting me know what do you guys think about what I said? Do you agree or do you disagree? And with that said, I will see you guys next time.